I am Phoebes of Crazy Pants Art, also known as Phoebe Warner. I am a Boston-based artist. I do paintings, illustrations, murals, printmaking, and I'm also an educator. I'm inspired by a lot of stuff. So the body of work that I have up today at the Media Center is very different and unique from a lot of the other stuff that I make mostly because this is my own personal body of work based on journeys that I take hiking. So my inspiration comes from nature, but the reason that I make the work is actually through inspiration for my community and my people. So I make these paintings to share with people who might not necessarily have the resources or privilege or access to nature the way that I do. This is sort of my way of providing that. So the green one, uh, that one's made up. That was the only one that I made up in my head. Uh, I was experimenting with the medium because one, I've never painted on matte board before and two, a friend of mine gave me a bottle of ink and it had been a long time since I had painted ink. So this one was more experimental, kind of trying to figure out what it was that I wanted from this body of work. The yellow one behind me is the first one that I did where I felt like I really started to understand the media. It is based on a view of, I want to say, I'm not sure what the mountain in the distance is, but the trail that I was on was Beaverbrook Trail on Mount Musilaki, and I walked off trail on some rocks to stand in the waterfall to take that picture. The one here, uh, the sage one, that one is from Mount Madison in the presidentials. I was on my first solo trek. It was a three day hike. I was woefully underprepared. I found this hut in the distance. If, if you look very closely in the top corner, there's a little house and they had some supplies that I really, really needed uh, that I did not have. So it sort of saved me on my trip and I was able to hike Mount Washington. So that one is actually very special to me. I've always really wanted to go to Patagonia. Very, very, very interested in that area. Also really interested in Glacier National Park. And I would really like to do a Triple Crown someday. I want to do the Appalachian Trail and the Pacific Northwest and the Continental Divide, but I might be 80 by the time that happens. My Instagram handle is Phoebes CPA, P H E E B Z C P A. That's all I have. <laughs> uh, my name is Josh Sadingana. I'm the director of Through These Realities. And this is a project that pairs uh, poets um, with photographers, and the photographers translate the work of the poets. I thought that I would um, focus on my own creative pursuits, which is photography, and with my friend, uh, Lindsay Jane, who's a poet, we combined our uh, pursuit interests and uh, put together this idea of having uh, photographers translate um, the work of poets the reason why I thought poetry was a good uh, entry point was because poetry is uh, something that one reflects on and it is slower in terms of the way one reads it, even though it's often very uh, short. And photography in and of itself is inherently fast in capturing moments and we thought that a photographer um, in translating poetry would have really good time and to really just think about and feel and reflect on what the poetry is trying to convey. The poetry is based on a quote from uh, James Baldwin, who is a playwright and uh, activist. So the quotation that we had uh, the poets based their work on uh, refers to the media and its uh, role in reflecting American reality. Hi, uh, I'm Casper. My pronouns are he or they. I am a poet based in Somerville. I wrote the poem Black Mirror and it was inspired by um, kind of the concerns I had about uh, social media and big tech companies kind of monitoring uh, our interactions at such a like granular level. 
Um, so the poem is sort of just like a thought experiment about how we've allowed this technology to kind of take over our lives and kind of the issues with that um, and capitalism and stuff like that and how it disproportionately impacts people of color. I'm Alicia Williams, I'm based in Newton, my pronouns are she, her. Um, I wrote the poem Prism. It was really, well, we were inspired by the same prompt. I just really wanted to look at how we're sort of trained to see ourselves and how we're trained to see our country and the way that there's sort of a disconnect between that, but also learning to learn and unlearn those perceptions and how we can sort of challenge that reality. Hi, I'm Mayan Chuk. I'm pronounced he slash him. So my poem is called Cat in the Church. And of course, in this particular project, based on James Baldwin's quote, the narratives of people of colors are invalidated by mass media. And I bring in not the direct approach here, but with my poem, I try to bring in my cultural history and experiences of women of color and trying to weave them together to reflect how media reinforces that narrative of uh, gender and race um, sort of minimization. I don't know if that makes sense. My name is Wandi Pashwal. I'm a designer, a photographer, and an artist. We got paired and matched with a specific poet. One of the first photos and images that I had taken um, was a sort of collage image. And I kept telling Josh that I wanted to edit it so that it looked like a single photo. Um, but we actually realized that the collage effect was something that worked really well and that it also connected to the theme of prisms. Um, and so the following photos I sort of just thought about the collage effect um, and then also working with color and not color and really making sure that each of the frames that I was personally in were the ones that included color and everything else was sort of tuned out um, to focus on the person.